We're Jeff and Amy, and our family is converting a 1994 Bluebird school bus into an RV. In our last video, we showed you how we made our curved laminated ceiling beams. Okay. We're getting ready to spray foam, but before we can spray foam our walls, we need to make sure that everything is in the walls that we need to have in the walls, like all of our wiring. Uh, but what we also have to do is make sure any external attachment points are in there. So we're going to put all of our bolts in for our future uh, solar panel bracket mounts, as well as our roof deck mounts. So that involves uh, on these ribs drilling some half inch holes. We'll put half inch bolts through so the threads are sticking on the outside. And then we will weld the bolt heads to the hatch channel. So we're uh, putting in our bolts for our uh, solar mount back here. And so we've drilled the holes through the skin of the bus, through the hat channel. Now we're just gonna weld the heads of the bolts in place. That way we can put nuts on from the outside without having to peel off our inner skin. Today we're going to install some sound deadening uh, mats. This Kill Mat product uh, we found uh, should work pretty well to cover up the uh, engine compartment cover. It's pretty quiet back here in the rear of the bus, but I don't want to uh, get further with the build and realize that we should have done something to deaden the sound. And so we're gonna go ahead and do that today. Be like perfectly smooth? I don't think so. Oh, okay. So, that should be good. Well, might have a little bit more than I wanted to. Oh, okay. A lot of waste square footage.
pencils out of sand, reaching for the grand. We have done a ton lately, but it hasn't been very exciting um, for you guys to see. But it's a bunch of wiring, so getting the wiring done and all harnessed up so that we can get spray foam done on the wall. We've got all the windows taped, and right now we're taping all of the wooden studs so that when we spray foam, it will, if any foam gets on the studs, it will come off easily. So, but that's about what we've been up to lately. So hopefully soon we'll get to spray foam. Today's the day we are going to spray foam. We've had a couple chilly days here, not quite over 70 degrees, so we've had to wait till the hottest part of the day and uh, have had heaters running. Let me walk you through and show you what we've done to prepare. Of course, we've got everything masked off as far as windows go, but we've got all of our power distribution done. All these wires are gonna be inside the spray foam. So it starts down here at the power hub, which is there by the shower. We've got all of our 110 volt outlets just roughed in wired. Plus we have all of our 12 volt uh, lines run. You can see we've got everything kind of run that's gonna go into the cabinets here in the kitchen. We've got our front lights all welded up. We also have all of our ceiling lights 
roughed in with a little bit extra so we've got a little bit of flexibility. We've got the boxes here, 110 volt boxes for the lights and then the wires we had to extend a little bit to get up into the ceiling. But that's it. We're gonna give her, try our hand at spray foam. Yeah, it found 